Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're just touching a little bit on feminine care. What do you use on your lady part? Is it really safe to be using or should you just omit it all and just use water? As you know, I am the creator and owner of Gems Holistic, where I make handcrafted natural skincare products using natural and organic ingredients, as well as providing womb wellness services herbal teas and more so what i really want to touch on in this video is our use of feminine washes yoni washes should we really be using them do we really need them and what's in your feminine wash so as you know i do offer a feminine wash a yoni wash on my website i will insert a picture somewhere on the screen but the reason why I created a yoni wash is because I used to get a lot of questions from women asking what feminine wash they should use what do I recommend or whatever the case may be and to be honest I've never used a feminine wash other than my own back in the day I know a lot of women used to use summer eve I think that's the name of it and I think there's this there's another one that was really popular I can't remember but I've never used it because I was raised to know that the vagina is self-cleaning and you should only really use water down there and you should not insert anything up there, especially not soap because it can throw off your flora, your natural flora and your pH balance and all of that. So I never really thought about initially even making a feminine one. But as I continue to get questions about it, I was like, you know what? Let me dig into this a little bit more and do some research. So I started doing research years ago about feminine wash. I started reading the ingredients of um, popular feminine washes that's out there. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe people are really putting this on their lady parts, <laughs> on their yoni, on their sacred space. So I was like, let me make my own and offer it so that since people feel they need it anyways and it does something for them, whatever that may be, at least they're using a safer version of it or the safest version they can find. So I did my research and of course, your girl being an aspiring herbalist had to infuse hers with herbs that's good for your yoni area that's safe to use and all of that that has the antibacterial properties antiviral properties i do offer a yoni wash but i am here to tell y'all that you shouldn't even need one okay if that makes sense we should only really be using water down there now don't get me wrong I make a yoni wash so i use my yoni wash because as you bathe soap runs down and it can still interfere with that area so the yoni wash is still pretty good for washing your lower parts anyways but i was reading i was in um the pharmacy the other day and i was i just something just told me let me pick up this yoni wash and read the ingredients because it's a very popular yoni wash it's made by a black owned company that's pretty big i'm not gonna say the name because ain't nobody gonna tell me i throw in shade at no company because i'm not i'm not going there i'm just here to inform my <laughs> ladies okay that's it but um something told me let me read the ingredients because i was just curious and i saw propylene glycol in there and i was like oh my gosh why would they put propylene glycol in a feminine wash so if you're not familiar with what propylene glycol is, it's a synthetic humectant that's used in a lot of cos cosmetics. Um, if you don't know what's a humectant, it's a substance that draws moisture to the skin. However, the problem with propylene glycol is that, I don't want to say it's toxic, but it's toxic, <laughs> okay? Um, yes, the FDA consider it as generally safe, but the USA approves a lot of chemicals that's really not safe. Although it's not considered toxic according to the FDA, propylene glycol has been linked to damage to the nervous system, the central nervous system and found as at least a little toxic. In short, it is an alcohol and even if it's considered generally safe, I really think that it's just one of those ingredients that you should not put in a feminine wash. In a product, for the most sacred part of your body, propylene glycol should not be one of the ingredients. So I'm saying that to say this, ladies, 
please read the ingredients of your feminine care products and make sure you research those ingredients if you don't know what it is always 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 do your own research and educate yourself because it is your body it is your temple and you should know what you're putting on it so i know a lot of women use feminine washes because of odor issues because of irritation if you are having those issues as a woman you need to take a look at what you're putting in your body and stop trying to mask it with a feminine wash that is not going to solve the problem. Always start from internal and then move to the external. Whatever it is that's coming out of your sacred area, whatever smells or unpleasant feelings that's coming out of there, it's because of what you're putting in your body. So let's get to the root of the problem and stop using these feminine products trying to solve the issue when it's like putting a band-aid on a broken foot. Like it doesn't work that way. So if you do use a feminine wash right now, please go in your bathroom and look at the label and read the ingredients. If there's anything in there that you're not sure what it is or you look it up and you see any controversial information on it, don't put it on your most sacred spot. Like do not use it. Not on your vagina, not on your yoni, okay? And if you do have a good feminine wash share it with other ladies so that they know what to get and if you don't want to look any further go to gemsolistic.com and order yours today okay because it is very important that you know what's in your products especially when it's touching the most secret part of your body so let's do better let's be better and let's take care of our body and our womb anyways that's about it for this video i hope you all found it informative and uh, to all of my melanated women out there watching, protect your womb by any means necessary. And to everyone watching, protect your peace by any means necessary. I wish you all love, light, and prosperity. And you'll see me in my next video. Peace.